You've been fantastic, and I hope you enjoyed it. There is a point. Is there a point to all this? Let's find a point. Is there a point to my act? I would say there is. I have to. The world is like a ride at an amusement park. And when you choose to go on it, you think it's real, because that's how powerful our minds are. And the ride goes up and down and round and round. It has thrills and chills, and it's very brightly colored, and it's very loud. And it's fun for a while. Some people have been on the ride for a long time, and they begin to question, is this real or is this just a ride? And other people have remembered, and they come back to us, and they say, hey, don't worry, don't be afraid, ever, because this is just a ride, and we Kill those people. <laughs> Shut him up. We have a lot invested in this ride. Shut him up. Look at my furrows of worry. Look at my big bank account and my family. This is, has to be real. It's just a ride. But we always kill those good guys who try and tell us that. You ever notice that? And let the demons run amok? But it doesn't matter because it's just a ride. And we can change it any time we want. It's only a choice. No effort, no work, no job, no savings of money. A choice right now between fear and love. The eyes of fear want you to put bigger locks on your door, buy guns, close yourself off. The eyes of love instead see all of us, all of us as one. one. You are a divine, a divine being. being. You matter. You count. And so scientists, they're publishing this in the journals. It's a great text. Many of your guests have, have talked about this field. Scientists are looking at this and they're saying, okay, well, you know, this field is out there. What do we do, what do, we do with it? This triple sanctuary is home to the pineal gland, or third eye. The enigmatic cobra rising from the third eye of the pharaoh is so prevalent that it is almost synonymous with Egyptian art. What did it mean? The central aspect of the pharaohs was that they were humankind perfected and elevated to a divine plane. The cobra over the pineal gland area served as the perfect insignia for their status, but also connects to a concept found in countless cultures. It echoes and amplifies the similar concepts at the heart of Hindu and Asian sacred teachings. The transformation into a higher spiritual manifestation is symbolized by the Hindus as a kundalini snake. It represents life energy, redirected and refined for the creation of a higher spiritual presence. Similarly, throughout tantric, alchemical and modern magical disciplines, it is an indicator of the universal pursuit of higher consciousness. A curious note concerning the Uraeus serpent, the, the cobra that appears over the forehead of, uh, of the pharaoh's headpiece and such, uh, while obviously uh, a symbol of the activation of the Ajna chakra, the third eye chakra in uh, the psychic system of, of mankind. It also points to a secret form of worship, open only, open only to initiate. initiate. You come from realms of unimaginable power, power and light, and you will return to those realms. And this is the place where I believe it serves us to go into some of the the, uh, the most ancient uh, traditions, some of them five, 7,000 years old in the case of the Vedas. The crisis, and there are always crises in the world, especially now, it seems to me, is a crisis in consciousness. A crisis that cannot anymore accept the old norms, the old patterns, the ancient traditions, a particular way of life, whether it is the American way or the European way or the Asiatic way. When the etheric body gets sufficient cosmic energy, 
by more and more meditation, our third eye gets perfect. You are a divine, a divine being. being. You matter. You count. Here we perceive crystal clear visions of this plane and other planes. In third eye perfection, we see many things clearer than the physical visions. We see other frequency realities. We see the things which are not present in the realm of the five senses. We feel so many things which we cannot express with words. We hear inner voices, sounds or sounds of instruments from other frequencies. The quality of listening is attention. And when you attend totally with your whole mind, with your heart, with your nerves, with your eyes and ears completely, in that state of attention, there is the act of listening. And that act of listening puts away anything that is not true. When you give your whole attention to something, that is when you are completely listening. To Western science, has just arrived within the last years of the 20th and now the early 21st century uh, at an understanding that we have proven under laboratory conditions in the language of science that has been the place where ancient and indigenous traditions have always begun. So Western science is only now comfortable embracing the fact, and it is a fact now, that there is an intelligent field of energy that bathes all of creation uh, permeates everything in our, our world and beyond, as far as we know, uh, and with implications, we're only beginning to, beginning to understand. If I say there is no God, hmm? I've blocked myself, haven't I? Or if I say there is God, I've blocked myself. But if I say I really don't know, let's find out. Then I have I'll the energy to go into it. Right? Now, so don't let's say yes or no. Don't let's take sides about it. Max Planck, in 1944, uh, in a, a, just a stroke of brilliance, identified this field as the matrix. And what he said, in 1944, he said that all matter, the stuff our world is made of, he said, it originates and exists only by virtue of a force. And he said, we must, must assume behind this force the existence of what he called at that time a conscious and intelligent mind. And then he said, this mind is the matrix. matrix. You are a divine, a divine being. being. You matter. You count. It's only a choice. No effort, no work, no job, no savings of money. A choice right now between fear and love. The eyes of fear, once you put bigger locks on your door, buy guns, close yourself off. The eyes of love, instead, see all of us, all of us all as of one. one.